All right, so today we are going to go over how to take a SketchUp file and get it into Revit. So I don't have SketchUp. We don't endorse SketchUp here at Baker Barrios. What we're going to endorse is this Formit. Formit is free. So how do I get to use Formit? So let's open up the internet. Besides the fact that I already have that open, we're going to go ahead and kill that. Go away. There we go. So if you Google Formit, You'll find that Autodesk Format pops up, and you can launch from the web. And this is 100% free. Now, in order to interact with it, it doesn't work with your local files very well, so you're going to need to utilize A360, which you can also um, log into and use your A360 drive. Because I am a C4R member, I have that as my default, but I can go to A360 Drive. And you would upload your file to Drive, and then in Format, you would open up the file. So you can see I've already, actually, I don't have any. There it is right there. So I put the file in A360 Drive, and you should be able to come into here and open Sketch from A360 Drive. However, what we're going to do is I'm also going to show you if you have the desktop version, which we have some licenses here at Baker Barrios, what we're going to do is, I don't know that I have it open, I don't. So I'm going to go to Formant. Actually, I had this. I do have the desktop right there. I didn't use it. Forgive me. We're going to fire up Formant. Maximize this. Come in here. I'm going to say Import 3D Model. Go to my desktop. And there is the SketchUp file, and I will open it. And like butter, there she is. Pretty quick, pretty simple, right? All of its glory. Format is awesome. All right, so what do I do from here? File, export to my local, or an A360 drive. In this case, I'm going to go local. I'm going to export as an AMX. That's the native file type for Format. I'm going to hit export. Tell it where to go. We're going to put it on the desktop in the same place. Sketch something or another, and I am done with Formant. We're going to kill that. Let's fire up Revit. I apologize for the length of this video, but this is a little more intense than some of the other stuff we go over. Take a second to load. Come on. What am I waiting on? There it goes. Thought there might have been a dialog box that was open. Still taking a minute. There we go, finally. So, big R. Come on. New project. Use an architectural template. Doesn't really matter. So, if I still have it open on the Formit website, Formit. The wrong. You can come down here and you can find Formit for Windows. And you can also find the. Um, let's do this. In here, under Download, you'll find that there is Formit for Revit. And what this does is this will download the add in which I'm about to show you. I have it already installed. So if I go to add-ins and I go here, I got several options that it gives me. Convert a family to format, convert SketchUp to format. So like what we just did, we opened up format directly and did it. But if you don't, you don't even have to do that. You can just click this button, select the file on your desktop, and it will convert it over to a format file. For which then you can go in here to import format to Revit which we will do. We will go to the desktop, 
there's the file that we created. Notice it's an AMX, that's the native uh, format file type. We'll hit open. It'll take a second to cook. Maybe a couple seconds to cook. I could have started with a smaller model to show how this was done, but it's all good. It's a little better than showing in a canned presentation where I cut the edit everything and you don't see what's really going on when I remove all the mistakes. I'm seeing a line. Ah, there we go. So, let's bust a little 3D action. And voila. We can now see that it has fully imported our model. I hope this has helped. Thank you.